there. My name is Anna Nichenko and now we will unveil the top news of recent days. The Russians used hypersonic ballistic missiles to strike Kyiv this morning. Ukrainian air defense forces shot down both missiles. Their type isn't currently being determined. However, it is known for certain that they were launched from the temporarily occupied Crimea. Therefore, the liberation of the peninsula is not only a matter of Ukrainian territorial integrity, but also of banal security. After all, the launched ballistic missiles flew the entire distance to the capital in three minutes. And less than a minute passed between the moment of the air alarm began and the explosion. Just look at how Ukrainian children ran for cover during today's attack. And I want to tell you the story of my colleague. He has a two-month-old daughter who was walking with her mother in the spring park at the time of the attack on Kiev. The child was sleeping and woke up from the explosions, but she didn't cry because she is already used to them. Just imagine a two-month-old baby and she is no longer afraid of explosions. They just wake her up. In general, immediately after the so-called elections in Russia, rocket terrorists became more active. Over the past week, almost 190 rockets of various types and almost 140 Shahids were used and almost 700 more guided air bombs, Volodymyr Zelensky said. Restoration work is underway in some of our regions after the Russian strikes on Friday night. I am grateful to everyone who is working on stuff in Kharkiv to restore electricity and heat supply to people. The situation is extremely difficult. More than 200,000 customers, apartments and houses in the city of Kharkiv and one of the districts of the region are without stable power supply and are subject to rather tough electricity schedules. Our sky shield requires significant strengthening. We are working on this with all our partners whose decisions can change the nature of this war and protect our cities and villages from terror. But already now our warriors are shooting down at least some of the missiles and most of the Shehi drones. And while the Russians are hitting Ukrainian civil infrastructure, Ukrainian soldiers are proving that there is no air defense in Russia. In two months, from January 24 to March 25, 2024, Ukrainian defense forces hit 10 oil refineries, one gas plant and one district power plant. Yet the Russian air defense forces put up a desperate resistance. But thanks to high quality planning, coordination and the high quality of Ukrainian made drones, our soldiers achieved their goals. Previously, during the war, Russia suffered only one strategic hit to its economy in 2022. Unknown persons blew up the Nord Stream's gas pipelines, with the help of which Russia blackmailed Europe and received profits from the European Union. But strikes by Ukrainian drones open up new opportunities for weighing an economic war against the Russian Federation, damaging Russian infrastructure and industry on a much larger scale. During this time, the following enterprises were particularly disabled or completely stopped refineries in Tuapse, Nizhny Novgorod, Ryazan, Novokuybyshevsk, Sizrań, Slavyansk na Kubani, Ilsk, Volgograd, Novoshakhtinsk, Kuybyshev. Also, oil terminal in Usluga and electric station in Novocherkask. The most vulnerable places of the refinery, the refining columns, were chosen for high-precision strikes. Ukrainian experts estimate the direct damage from the destruction of vulnerable equipment at about $1.5 billion. Indirect losses, the drop in the capacities of the Russian oil industry is estimated at more than 
than 25 percent of all the capacities of the Russian Federation. This has already led to raising gasoline prices in the Russian Federation by up to 50 percent, closure of gasoline exports from the Russian Federation, reduction of production by half a million barrels per day, a significant reduction in the supply of fuel to the occupying armed forces on the territory of Ukraine. I would like to express my special gratitude to all units of our defense and security forces that reduce Russia's force potential. The less money Putin's system makes, the stronger the sanctions against it. And the physical destruction of Russia's war potential, the sooner Ukraine, our Europe and the world will feel safe again. The attacks became effective because all the force institutes acted in a coordinated manner both when planning the operation and when conducting reconnaissance, training drones, operators and determining tactics and procedures. A single control coordination center was defined and this is the center of the unmanned forces of the armed forces, which have just been created but are already producing the first results. This successful operation of our state could and will become an example of actions in other directions of warfare. Ukraine celebrates the Day of the Security Service of Ukraine. The security service consists of thousands of professionals dedicated to the defense of Ukraine, real fighters of the visible and invisible fronts, both in battle and in peace time. Today's war showed that the security service, together with other military and law enforcement units, are capable of protecting the motherland and the whole Europe. The strength of security service of Ukraine aids in country enemy operations against Ukraine's internal unity. And we are confident that the effectiveness of security service of Ukraine as a key component of our defense and security forces will bring our shared victory to closer. Volodymyr Zelensky, president of Ukraine, on Facebook. For over two years now, the SSU has been hitting the enemy at its most sensitive spots. The Crimean Bridge, warships in the Black Sea, tanks, electronic warfare and air defense systems, oil, refineries and other facilities working for Russia's military-industrial complex. All these are our legitimate targets because they bring the war to Ukrainian soil. During this time, the service has found many unique technological solutions. They help to act quickly and accurately, even in the enemy's deep rear. They conduct special operations on land and at sea, covering hundreds of miles, bringing war criminals to justice, repeal cyber attacks, detain enemy agents and traitors. They do their best to make the invaders realize that on our land they are doomed, and that retribution for all their crimes and every life destroyed is unavoidable. Ukrainians are a nation of brave warriors who have been defending their land for centuries, even at the cost of their lives. And we must win this great battle, because the ability to win is in our genetic code. That concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. Stay updated, comment, like and subscribe to our UATV English channel for more news from Ukraine. Your support really matters.